Okay, so you can swim, swim actually to step the level of damage in my house and also in the neighborhood. So you can see the mass of humanity to man at play. The crime against humanity committed by a number of and two horses. Okay, so let the world see. We're going to take the video of all other, other, other places affected by, this, by the panic and also make available to the world. So, what I'm saying in effect is that this is the last battle where Nakopo cannot finish. Because the only person that can finish this battle is the God Almighty. Anybody, all the conspirators that participated in this carnage, blood in my house and killings, all of them will be stayed in the same manner by the God of Fire. And God Almighty, I worship. I can assure of that. I want to tell the, the public that I'm moving freely. I'm not hiding from anybody. Because they know I've, I've committed no offense unto law. I was in my house. The, 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 I, was, I was in my house for the barrier. And even after the barrier, I got a call that the police were looking for me. As a matter of fact, it was my respect, out of my respect for council authority that saved me. Because if I had come back home to see my mother, and probably had a, a drug by feet for, 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 for a little while, they were caught me in the house. I was being caught in the web. I, I insisted on going to see the ACP to know why they are looking for me. Why, why they are in my house at wee hours of the night. So immediately I stepped out about 10 minutes thereafter, the man came on rampage. You can see the level of damages committed in my house. You can see the level of destructions in the, in the whole premises. About 42,000 are affected. Many people killed. And also, and, and also, and also, they looted the entire house, three premises. A morning home, a peaceful home. We have committed, we have, I don't know what I've done to the Mecca for. I'm telling him today, the Mecca for Sonny Banuso, Casco Fondo, I've been fully briefed by the authority on, level, on the 11 laws played play by Casco Fondo in facilitating the movement of soldiers from Monitor to this place. But I can assure them that it will be visited in the same manner by the God Almighty. I can assure them that it will be visited. America cannot go so free. They, must, they will not escape the wrath of God. I told them, I'm telling them, he has been bragging all over the places. I will do this and do that. Let him, I want to die him. Let him go to Abu Dhabi and arrest my wife and my kids and kill them. As he has been boasted before the police, you know, at, at Orifta here, let him go and arrest them and kill them. And also, I kill my, my father-in-law. I want that to happen. If he has a ball, let him do that. I can assure him that let him do that. Take, take, take a bold step to go and kill my wife and his children and, his children, and my, my children. Let me say this. I am at this, this time accusing the federal government of being complicit in what happened in my house. This is five weeks. I personally petitioned the federal government and nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. What they did was just send a highly manifestly compromised police officer to my house on 12th of December 2019 to come and to come on an inspection. Probably on a tourism. And after the inspection, they intercepted them, called them to where the OIU was having a meeting. And before the people, before the confused element in Orifte, and started dramatizing on how he will kill my, 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 my family, my wife, my children, my, my father-in-law, what has it got to do with what happened in my house? I can assure him that the make offer will soon end. It will, it will be its end. God, God Almighty is watching him. And I've committed everything to the house of God Almighty. Today is a dangerous day in Orifte. It's a, it's a wonderful day in Orifte. And it's a special day in Orifte. I've come to pray for my forefathers, to my father and my forefathers, because I'm going to take up this fight. I'm not going to fight alone. My forefathers and fathers are going to take up this fight. I can assure for sure that a Mekofo cannot end this fight. He cannot control this fight. Because God Almighty is looking at him. Thank you so much. I also want to equally point out that the military that we are fully involved in this oppression, we have elements from full instruction. That was why they went on rampage, ripping people out, ripping people in the neighborhood. Then destructing everything on site, apart from my houses. You can, I can show you to the people, the world, what happened. So the military was actively involved. An instruction of the federal government on what happened to my house. So I want that investigation to go. As a matter of fact, I also petitioned the government of Anambra State, Prison State Assembly, Prison National Assembly on this matter, and nobody has said anything because the Mekofo is making contacts and cohorts are making contacts to cover the case to make sure that you no know, the matter is already not investigated. But I can assure him that I've already made a communication with the international community and responded to several, several, several letters I wrote, I wrote to them, and they, they are watching what is happening in this place. What we are craving for is nothing but the justice. This matter will be fully investigated. The, the, the soul of the poor people killed in my house are crying for justice. I cry for justice. As I can say, the, the most shocking part of it is that all the children in these premises left without nothing. Their school bags were burnt, their uniforms were burnt, their clothes were burnt.